Hey guys, what's up? If you're new around here, my name is Hannah Martin and today we're going to be doing a box split tutorial. I've had so many requests for this over the past year. Again, be careful, I again can't take any responsibility. You get injured during this tutorial. Uh, I'm not a qualified teacher, I just love to share the experience that I have with you guys. I hope you guys will enjoy these stretches that I've found helpful as my time as a dancer and gymnast. I don't believe necessarily in the tutorials that say you can get down in 10 minutes if you're not already down. Uh, it does take effort, uh, that's why not everyone can do it. I would recommend doing this tutorial every day, if not every other day, if you're really determined to get down in that box split. Over time, I can guarantee that you will see some difference in your mobility. Make sure to do a little warm up before we start and raise that heart rate a little so that you're ready to stretch. So, without further ado, let's get right onto the video. So, we're going to start with our first exercise, which is just a second position. This is just to really get our hips a bit more loose and relaxed, ready. To do the stretches. So we're just going to go from side to side in this position. If you're struggling to balance, pop your hands on the floor and this will help you get that stability you need. But if you've done this tutorial a few times, you can try and balance with your hands on your ankles like this. I find this really helps to get my hips loose ready for stretching. Make sure that your bum is tucked in We're now going to go into a straddle position. Don't worry if you're not in a straight line in your straddle position. If you need to bring your legs in a bit like this, that's absolutely fine. We're going to go over one leg and hold it for 10. Here we go. You should feel this stretching in your hamstring as well as in your hips. And now the other leg, we're going to hold for 10 seconds. Keep both glutes on the floor. Don't let one hip ride up or the stretch is not valid. Make sure both knees are straight, don't let them bend, and point your toes. We're going to go forwards now. I'm showing you incorrectly and correct ways to do this. You don't want your knees to roll in forwards. Try and keep your knees facing the ceiling. We're going to hold this for about 20 seconds. Check for yourself that your knees are facing the ceiling and they're not rolling inwards. And make sure your, those legs are straight. Right. Let's repeat these exercises again, but this time, try and put your legs in a slightly wider position. We're going to do 10 seconds over one leg. Really thinking about keeping those knees facing towards the ceiling. And the other leg. Don't worry if you weren't able to get your legs any wider, that's absolutely fine, as long as you're doing the correct technique on the stretches. That's what's really important. Now we're going to go forwards and hold it for just over 20 seconds. Try and let your body relax and just ease into the stretch. You might not be flat like me right now, that's absolutely fine. Take it easy, but make sure those legs are straight. This is one that comes with practice. Good job. Shake out your legs and we'll go on to the next exercise. This exercise is called a butterfly. We're going to hold the ankles and just hold this position, trying to get those knees down to the floor as much as possible. The aim of the game is to have your knees flat on the floor like this. The next thing we're going to do is just wave over the legs 10 times. Again, just really trying to loosen up the hip joint. The aim here is to keep your knees flat on the floor and your nose to your feet. So we're just going to do 10, just follow along with me. Make sure to hold your ankles and not your feet, then you won't be sickling them. Good job, now we're going to hold for 20. Try and keep those knees on the floor. If you want, you can push them down yourself. You could even get one of your friends or your mum to push them down for you if you're really trying to increase the intensity of this stretch. Good job. Now, we're gonna go back 
and we're going to try and slide through this straddle position into what I call a froggy. Now you want to make sure that your hips are in one straight line, so not too far forwards or not too far back as I've just shown you. If you want to increase the stretch, you could also go up on your hands like this, but today we're just going to be down flat, but if you progress with this tutorial you can do it higher if you would like. We're just going to hold this for about 30 seconds. This is a great one if you're just watching TV, you can sit and watch it in this position. Next, we're going to go into the actual box splits. So you have a few options, you can go down like this, or you can go down in a straddle position with your back against the wall to ensure it's straight. Or you could do it up against a wall, where you can measure how close you're getting in your box split. It's quite an accurate representation. You can hold it any of these few ways that I've just shown you, but right now I'm just going to hold this for one minute. And then I'm going to hold with the legs turned in and my tummy flat on the floor for another minute. I quite like reading books while I stretch or I sometimes watch some of my favourite TV programmes. And you're done. Good job. Well done. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I really hope that you felt that you've improved and not to see results straight away. But over time, if you do this tutorial repeatedly, you will definitely see results. So guys, if you have seen results, I would love to hear your victory story, so comment down below, I always love to hear your thoughts. And if there's any other tutorials you'd love me to make, make sure to also drop them down below. And give this a big thumbs up, click that subscribe button for more content that's coming, just like this. I have loads of other flexibility tutorials if you're interested, and strength tutorials if you really want to get your strength up, so make sure to check those out. I will see you very soon in my next video, remember, dream big and make it happen.